Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, March 3rd, 2015. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 177. Once again, not a very crafty Talk To Me Tuesday this week. Not because I haven't been working on anything, but some of what I have been doing I cannot share because it is part of the prize package for posting a video in the Live Journal TTMT group for February. So, I will be drawing for that in just a very short few, but a couple updates I want to just run through quick before we get into that. First off, our little Miss Nemeria, or Miss N, is doing fantastically well. She's healing up quite nicely, and I'm pretty sure she's tired of me picking her up twice a day to check her boo-boo to make sure it is healing, but I told her it is what it is, it is what I do, and she just has to deal with it. So... But she is healing up nicely. It's really nice to see. And she is definitely getting back to her little rambunctious self. So I will keep you posted as to how things go from here. The only thing I have crafted to update you on is my Granny Square Afghan. It is completed except for sewing in ends, which I started doing yesterday. I figure if I do three rows of sewing in ends a day by next week, you will see a completed Afghan. Because anyone who watches my videos knows sewing in ends is what I hate to do the most. <laughs> so I'm trying to kind of break it up just because... It would drive me nuts to just sit down and do it all at once. But uh, hopefully next week that will be 100% complete, washed, and ready to be shared. So, the only other thing I have to share with you, I was sitting at work Sunday night. I had like maybe 45 minutes worth of time left before it was to, time to do my last round so I could get the heck out of there. So I decided to try a little technique called backward or mirror or mirror knitting. Sorry, <laughs> can't talk today. It is a technique in which most generally when we knit, we knit from the left needle onto the right. When we get to the end of the row, we turn it and we knit from the left needle onto the right. Which means if you're working a stockinette stitch piece, you're knitting one row, you're purling one row. And I know there are a lot of people out there who don't really care for purling. I can think of one that pops into mind right off, and that's Miss Erin, give me yarn 418, who doesn't really care for purling. So this would be a really cool technique for her to learn. And it is really easy once you kind of get the hang of it. But I watched a video that Very Pink Knits did in which she shows you how to do the knit and the purl stitches in mirror knitting. And this is just a little swatch that I've worked up. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think I put the wrong batteries in or grabbed the wrong batteries. But, but it is a really cool technique, um, and I love it. I am going to make a pouch out of this, so you will see a little completed pouch. But I love it because you work in one direction, you just work backwards in the other. There's no turning the work, anything like that. So really cool. So if you get a chance, I will try and remember to post a link in the description so you can go check out the video. So, uh, before these batteries die, because I don't even know if I grabbed the right package, we should probably get on with the drawing for February's prize. I was a little disappointed that there weren't more entries. This is it, folks. This is it. Um, we had our regulars post videos. We had a couple others post videos. But taking my videos out, it's left me with very little to choose from. But it is what it is. Um, I would like to see more people get back into doing videos regularly on TTMT. We had a couple new people, and then they've kind of fallen off by the wayside. like to see y'all come back. So, anyway, I put everybody's name in here. So, good luck to everybody who posted a video. And this is just a cute little snowman jar that I put a little blue bow on. So, I usually do this using my... Uh, m m jar, but I didn't do that this week, so, all right, let's pull a name and see who the winner is going to be, pardon me, my fingers are so cold right now, so, and the winner is Jules68, so yay for Miss Jules, congratulations, um, just private message me your address, because we don't want the whole world to see, but... <laughs> Private message me your address, and I will hopefully, barring any storms or anything else that goes on, get your package out in the mail to you.
by next Monday. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything. So, congratulations, Miss Jules. Like I said, I would like to see more people posting videos. I did sit down yesterday and start watching videos backwards. The only problem with that is if somebody talks about something the week before and they re-mention it the following week, you're like kind of lost. <laughs> so I actually have to go back to where I left off and watch them forward and then maybe certain things would make more sense. So yeah, anyway, so congratulations to Miss Jewel 68 on winning February's prize. I hope you enjoy everything you receive in it. So, but yeah. So, that being said, um, don't want this to be any longer and don't want any more batteries to die on me, so I'm going to call it quits. So I do look forward to watching everyone's videos. I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. As for me, I'm out. As for you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one, and I will see you all next week. Bye!